I'm Scott Rudisel, the Northern Territory ITS, and today we're going to go over some data practices and how to get prescriptions out of a desktop or laptop into your display. So two main prescriptions that we're going to get out of here are going to be fertilizing prescriptions and seeding prescriptions. Um, a lot of headaches can be avoided by doing a few simple steps on uh, device setup if you're using SMS or any other uh, desktop software. For fertilizer, when you export these out to your display, depending on what kind of software you're going to use, you're either going to export it to the correct display using proprietary software. So that would be if you're using Case IH AccuControl or the Case IH 2000 or 1200 series planner. If you're using anything ISO, so this would be Raven, um, if you're going to actually load the CN1 file like normal to get your grower farm field, You'll also come down and you'll find a Case IH New Holland ISO task controller file. When you join those two together, you will not have to do any extra import steps in the display when you get the data into the cab. So for this one, we are going to load out the fertilizing prescription. We're going to send it out as if we were going to a Raven ISO node on this case. So we're going to send it out to the Pro 700. You're going to export it out anywhere, prefer preferably the USB stick. You're going to hit copy load GPS data. This only has one year, otherwise you would select the current year that you're trying to export out. You're going to hit OK. You can give it a default rate if you want. In this case we're doing potash, we'll do 100 pounds of the acre. So that's going to export out on the CN1 file your grower farm field. You're going to come back in and export to display again, but this time go to your ISO display. You're going to select task controller. You're going to put it on the same USB stick. You can give it a default rate if you would like. A lot of people will leave these zeroed, so that way in case they leave the field or if they have an area like a waterway they don't want to spray or spread in, it will not do that. So we're going to hit OK. Hit OK again. And now it's loaded a CN1 file and an ISO XML task data file onto your USB. So when you plug it into your display, you will have two files on there. For planning data, using the 1200 or 2000 series planner software, it's just one step. You're going to select export to display. You're going to select the appropriate version for your display. You're going to export out, preferably to a stick. Copy load your GPS data. You can give it a default rate if you like. And then that would be it. You do not have to use the ISO XML file format for Case IH Planner software. So next we'll actually take the USB stick and put it in the display to load the software. So attached here we have a 2000 series planner. So this looks very familiar to the 1200 series planner. Not a lot has changed, so it should be something that you're familiar with. On here, our first screen up here would be our seed control. On this case, we are using variable rate technology, so prescription, so it does say A for automatic. You can set it to manual by selecting any of your seed control arrows. You would hit enter, and then you'd be in a manual app control at that point. So when you're first starting here to plant, you can come in here for these vacuum controls. You can turn it on individually. What I like to tell a lot of growers is that they can actually hit and put this planter systems button over on the left side or on a run screen, doesn't matter. But when you actually press and hold that, we don't have any actually going here, but this actually starts all of those at once. So you don't have to individually hit those one at a time. It's a little bit of a time saver and you don't have to go through and hunt all the controls down. You're also able to go in there and set what you actually want the control to be. So for vacuum control you can hit your arrows. Same thing for your bulk fill and liquid control as well. Down here would be your market control. So right now we don't have anything on. If it's black that means we currently have that marker selected as well as your section controls. These mean that all sections are turned on when they're black. If you want to manually kill a section, which in this one we have six rows per section, so this would turn off six rows, 
one would turn gray, and then you'll see up here that you're not using all seed rows, so you'll get that alarm. To turn it back on, just simply press the button, the alarm goes away. Here we can actually set all of our row scans. So a flashing number would mean that our rate is out of range for what we have set. Otherwise, these would be all black. Red would be your target. These white lines at the top and bottom would be your max and minimum of where you have set for the alarm to happen. The last thing on here would be prime control. So this would prime fertilizer and seed at the same time. So you would simply press and hold as well as use the tether switch that would come with the planner. After that turns gray, if we had the planner running, you would see a green check mark and that means you're ready to start planning. Thanks for watching. Remember to like our page, share this video, and comment which Bain Welker equipment location is nearest to you. We will pick one winner a day and each winner will receive a swag bag.